Dispatchal advisor to the Cross River State Government on Job Placement, Mr. Jesse Ejemot, has revealed that in less than no time, about 700 Cross Riverans will be employed. Mr. Ejemot made this known when he spoke as a guest on a radio program, The Dialogue with Agua Jalingo, which holds every Sunday on Hit 95.9 FM Calabar. Okay, uh, sorry, I uh, just got confirmation that uh, the special advisor job placement is live on uh, uh, with us uh, on phone. Uh, good evening, Mr. Jesse. Hello, I can hear you. Okay, good evening, Mr. Jesse. This is Jonathan uh, speaking, and welcome to the dialogue with Agba Jalingo. Good evening, Jonathan. Hi. Fine, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jesse. Uh, we'll just go straight to you. Uh, the question I was itching to ask you is. When we talk about job creation in Cross River State, what exactly is the state doing? Hello? Mr. Jesse? Yeah, can I, can I, can I, can I My question was simple. What is the state's policy of job creation? What is the Cross River State government doing on job creation? Okay, thank you very much, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Okay. Can you hear me very well? I can. I can hear you. Well, I'm actually driving, so I have to play so I have to call. Okay, please do that. Uh, and, yeah, it, uh, I uh, talked about this. We have done so much. The governor is trying his best. Sense of job creation. Okay, a lot, of, a lot is going on. And um, my own department, after the governor's uh, efforts to give employment to both uh, teachers and uh, Garment factory, college farm, and others, even the Ministry of Youth and Sports, also we have, the Ministry has engaged, you know, so many youth, you know, um, in terms of employment, you know, so in my own office too, I'm trying my, my, my best, making contact across, uh, so far, I just put that skill, we were, like, uh, cross the barrier, about the 12 of them have been employed, no logic, to work there. And the uh, dry inland revenue, uh, almost seven of Prosperians are also uh, engaged. They will call for interview. Uh, I think it's two weeks ago, and they get back, they call me and told me uh, they went for the interview. I think uh, by the grace, the special grace of God, they are going to be shortlisted and uh, be employed uh, any time from now. Okay, okay, Mr. Jesse, I do understand you're the special advisor at job placement and uh, what you've done so far is uh, listed some of the achievements of your office. But is there a job creation policy of the cross River state government? And if there is, how can we assess it? Yes, we are, we are, right now there is job creation. We are, there, there, there is a proposal which has been uh, put in place on, on my table now that we, we, are, we are working on. Normally we, we do work with COSO. We have the uh, Lafarge, former UNICEF, so all those things are in place. As soon as the program is out, we come up with something. And I think uh, with that, uh, we have almost 700 cross area to be employed. I say, uh, oh, and you said 700 cross to be employed then. And now, yeah. we, uh, in May 2017, the governor commissioned uh, the Job Center Commission. And uh, what exactly was that about? Yeah, the job center basically, uh, the job center uh, is where we have a database of cultivarians. We know who you are, what your profession, what you can do, okay? And um, we are looking forward to uh, uh, open up that place formally because the governor was supposed to go there and commission that place and he has not done that. My office and Minister of Youth, the Commissioner for Youth and Sports, Honorable Ansel Khan, uh, we are working together. I think with, um, by the grace of God, we are going to uh, do something on that. And uh, the job center will be uh, commissioned and uh, we will start work as soon as possible. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jesse. Just stay on the line. I would like to go back to uh, Mr. Great in the studio here. Achibong Jeremiah, Crossbow TV.